Hi guys, it's Ashman here on the couch with my ladies, Girl Talk crew again. Welcome Nisi and Kimberly once more to our show. We are so excited to discuss this topic. It's all about the size really matter. I know a lot of ladies would be excited to hear what we have to say. You know, we're excited to share with you as well. The topic again is the size really matter. Let's hear from Kimberly what she thinks about oh that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why me first? Me that slightly versatility in your opinions. Well, hmm, that depends. My, my answer can actually go both ways. But I would go with yes, <laughs> size really matters. But I don't want to be biased, so maybe sometimes it doesn't. Nisi? Me? <laughs> yes, you. Um, it's, okay, I, you know the girl talk coaches where we keep it real, right? Yes, definitely. Size matter. Also, the right size matter. You would know what is your preferred size how would i find out how would i find <laughs> no, out <laughs> i know i'm talking it's a personal thing because like my like what i think is you know preferred for me might not necessarily be the same for you that's what i'm saying but but size does matter i've had personal experiences i'm not gonna like put too much out there but <laughs> enough to know not too much but enough to know that size matters ashman <laughs> She said, coming from my own experience, hmm. my gosh, what should I say? <laughs> <laughs> I personally would say, um, yes, everybody thinks size matters and it does to an extent, but it makes no sense if you have the size and you don't know how to work it, you know? So I personally would say it's a yes and no for me because of that, mm -hmm. you know? Because yes, okay, okay you got the size, then... You're having, you know, whatever it is. We're big people. We're on the couch talking about the size matters, right? And then in the end, as a woman, you don't get an orgasm. But you got the size. Mm -hmm. So then it doesn't make any sense. You have to and know how Ashman to work it. And that's being totally real. And honest. I, I, I want to, let's, let's trail a little bit to that topic you just mentioned about, like, not having an orgasm, right? I've had a lot of friends who have been in relationships, having sex on could we say sex <laughs> can we you can say sex right <laughs> um yeah so having they make love on a regular and don't experience that climax on a regular but oh, what yet, a pity but what wait. a pity <laughs> no but yet but when it comes to guys they always experience it so ladies let me tell you if you were to a man and he is selfish and it's only about him you need to get rid of him, okay? Because you're going to be very unhappy and you're going to be looking mm -hmm. for it elsewhere. That's my honest opinion. I mean, I am in a couple of groups and different things and then you know, I have persons who call and talk to me and stuff like that. And I, I really feel sad in the sense that for them because they, they allow these things to happen. Mm -hmm. How could you be pleasuring your significant other or your partner and in, in return you are frustrated mm -hmm. sexually after they are pleasured? Pleasured. But is, is it an easy topic to have, like, okay, we're dealing with males here. Like, I mean, yes, if, they're, if you're in a relationship with someone, they should be um, open to hearing you and hearing and knowing that they are satisfied and having that conversation sex, about sex. But sometimes guys take it the wrong way. It's, it's an ego thing. I, I, maybe it could be an ego thing. They take it the wrong way where they feel like, oh, well, I can't satisfy you. Like, is it a me thing, you know? And sometimes, as I said, like, it's just to have that conversation and work on it. Probably work on it, no? In a relationship, <laughs> there must be, dis must be rather discussions about this. Because, yes, it's not 90% it's not of the relationship. In some cases, I mean, sex lasts. Okay, I wouldn't say people. Some for some people, they say it's eighty percent. It's not eighty percent because I mean, there's so many other things. It that shouldn't exist be in eighty percent. Your relationship shouldn't be based on sex. Come that's on. That's what I'm saying. So, it's, so that's what I'm saying. Like twenty percent. Yeah. I would say it's twenty percent. But what happens afterwards? Going back to the topic of sex now, 
you you really need to discuss it because different people have different likes, different people have different type of freakiness, different things they would like to try and mm-hmm. and this is your partner. In most cases we're speaking about life partner because we're speaking about husband and wife kind of thing, not mm-hmm. fling on the side, not side chick and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. We're speaking generally with your partner, the person you are in love with and stuff. If you cannot share experiences with your partner, then who you would share you're gonna it share it with? You know, and I mo- I am certain that a man who is in love with his woman, his wife, they're first and foremost, they're, um, they would in fact want to make sure that the woman, their love, their, the love of their life is in fact pleased then to please themselves. That is what a man is supposed to do. Not please himself first and then try to please you and then you're so upset about it. You, know? you heard that, guys? Like, yeah, it's not, it's not just about you. No, a lot of women don't discuss it. They would feel they don't, embarrassed. They don't. They was like, oh my gosh. And a lot saying, of females no, fake it just to, to let you think, yo, it was good. I know of, like, I've had, like, females talk, like, girlfriends talk. Then if you look at the flip side of it, because we talk in size matters, and there are some guys with big egos because they got big. Mm-hmm. So they have big egos. But, they can't but what, think, yeah. what do they do with big? Because big can mean, for me as a female... Painful, uncomfortable. Exactly. So, guys, big doesn't mean you have. To, you need to have a big ego. So yes, um, size to me it does matter, but at the same time, your ability of you like knowing what you're working with and ensuring that at the end of the day, like we're on the same page sexually. Like you know what I like. You're you're not selfish. Like a lot of guys are selfish. Like you, you start and it, it ends and you want to know okay well in most <laughs> in most cases now people get in, involved in relationships for the wrong reason it's most of the time a sexual a sexual encounter that they're looking for mm-hmm. it's, it's no longer a relationship and long term and stuff and I blame the woman for that because they become a little too loose you know and not having morals mm-hmm. and values and keeping themselves mm-hmm. you know so I, I would blame them for that and, and, and this is why they would be more concerned about pleasing themselves rather than pleasing the woman that they're in bed with because, I mean, they don't really care about you. They care about getting laid. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But so, I think the advice that we're given is more on a relationship type of setting of long term. You know, something not just like the one night stand fling type of thing. My, with regards to our topic, I would say that um, in one breath size does matter in the other breath. Someone can have not the bigness that everybody wants and want to have and still be able to satisfy you mm-hmm. because they know how to use what they were blessed with. So let me play devil's advocate for a sec, right? So <laughs> painting a scenario. You're with this guy. He is willing to, to make sure that you're satisfied, but he does not have the tools to satisfy you, what would you say in a scenario like that? What would you say that he doesn't have the tools to satisfy you? He he's willing. He's willing. Mm-hmm. He's not selfish. He's willing. But he don't have the size to even start the process. But, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it, you, you don't necessarily have to have a big, you know. what, what Size, you when I say that? size, I don't necessarily mean like mandingo. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, we're not saying like. Come okay, on. listen, as, listen. As Kimberly said, like, come on, we don't like pain, like, like, come on. <laughs> okay. But at the same time, like, okay, let's just say, like, even to start the process, like, you must, you have a standard size that you should be able to step up to the plate with. If you don't have that to begin. Why did I expect this to be? <laughs> it was really small it's actually. Yeah. Easy. No, but for real, like, we be, we let us be frank. Listen. Let us be frank. I'm talking from a friend's experience. <laughs> asking for a friend? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. That is there, so- are, there are guys that you would meet and you would like and, and they would be pleasant and all these different things. And as I said, like willing, satisfied, um, willing to satisfy you, sorry. But if they don't have the tool, what are they going to do? We just said we're not speaking about one night stands and different things that yes. are. We're speaking about relationships. Relationships, you build... You know, you build a certain, uh, a, a certain sort of physical connection, emotional mm-hmm. connection. Your body in turn now, in, 
Kimberly, you have a boyfriend or whatever the case may be. We all have had relationships, right? Okay. I'm drawing reference to that in the sense that, you know, you, you begin to have feelings and different things. Um, a sex and being satisfied is not just about penetration. There's so many other things you could do to get satisfied. Now, I am not saying that a penis is not needed. <laughs> I'm just saying that you can't... <laughs> Oh God, forgive me. You no. can, in fact, you can answer that. Really respond to my question, my no, um, my and, and I totally understand. Speaking from a friend's perspective, as a friend, no, speaking on from a friend's perspective. Okay. If you get into a relationship and there's love, size doesn't matter. Exactly. Speaking for a friend. I I um um <laughs> um. I don't know if I agree totally with that. Um, my, my thing is, I do agree with that sex isn't everything in a relationship. That it have a lot of different layers and you might be able to meet somebody and connect with them on all these different layers. But if you're in a relationship and you're getting all these different things and you might be a sexual person and you're not getting that... Like, that's important to you in a relationship and you're not getting that one thing. For some people, it, it overshadows everything. Understood. Mm -hmm. But then that speaks to the individual. Mm -hmm. what, is your, what is important to you in a relationship? Mm -hmm. But I hear you because there must be some level of goodness. Of goodness. Some of the right length. Mm -hmm. Of yummy. <laughs> but I have heard challenges with... Is it size? Right size? Uh -huh. um, but I've heard real stories about the size not being right and it's not working in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And but I'm sure if it's a one night stand, and maybe that's why some of those one night stands remain one night stands and don't because, develop into relationships. And that's the thing, like yeah, like it had the experience. Yo, this didn't work for me. Um, <gasps> One time. Yeah, like, there's not gonna be t another time. It's n no, no. <laughs> but but honestly, like, my thing is. In a relationship, you could work on different areas. You could work on a lot of things. If you don't have the right size or you don't know what he's doing, like, some things you just can't fix. I just said, Nisi, that a person could have a mandingo size or a little smaller size. It's um, all in a matter of learning how to work the tool. It's all okay. about learning how to work the tool. It's about getting the woman <laughs> aroused, you know. And if I am with someone, my significant other, mm -hmm. I mean, just by being around him, I am literally aroused. Yeah, but then but when you get to the aroused, act, but when you get to the act, <laughs> and then you're aroused, and then it's like, I never said I had problems in those areas. Okay? <laughs> no, but we're talking. Okay, that's okay. So I'm gonna bring it home. Oh Ashman, <laughs> Ashman, you're Ashman. Yeah. You're in a relationship with a guy. You're attracted to this guy. He is a very caring, loving type of individual. Like you're in love with the person. You're attracted to him. Hear what I'm saying? You're very attracted to person. You're easily aroused. But when it gets down to the actual act, you're not satisfied. How would you address that? Well, that's not going to happen to me. So <laughs> I, I would have some... No, no, no but, but that is the picture that I'm painting in some situations. To be honest, you must know what you're getting yourself into. Of course, some... Beforehand, people, you do research. Listen, I am not going to be... What does it say? By cut. <laughs> Are you fudging crazy? <laughs> Are you not doing that? So, that's not going to happen to me. I'm sorry. That means size does matter, Ashman. Yes. No, it's yes. Okay, yes. Listen, listen. Let me just say something, okay? So I've had this friend, you know. So we have a lot of friends, friend. though. Yeah. We no, have no, a lot no, of no, friends. No, no, no. It, this is a guy. <laughs> he personally had issues because he has diabetes. Okay. And because of his diabetes, and maybe I shouldn't be discussing this, but, you know, I'm just going to give you a little... Because there are a lot of people out there with diabetes, right? And because of his diabetes, he could not have, you know, got an erection, which used to be difficult for him. But that's Ouch. What he so his girlfriend now got to talking and saying that, you know, he is able to satisfy her because he has other means. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know what I mean? Yeah. 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 What yeah. is that? Yeah. Like, Do you all know what she means? Yeah. Like Glicklush? <laughs> <laughs> How do you say that? <laughs> kind of. So, yes, he, ha he has other means. Continue. 
Right, okay. So, you know, so I mean, different strokes are different folks, okay? It's not going to happen to me. So I wouldn't have to deal with that. However, okay. you know, there are other ways and means. I mean, but for a lifetime, Ashmin, a lifetime. We just said that sex is 20% of the relationship. Mm-hmm. But it's still an important part. It's still an important it's, it's part. An, it's an important part, but there, there are lots more things to consider, you know, being okay. in a relationship. And if it's 20%, then it, it cannot be, you know, a whole... There must be other things. There are things to think okay. about, like, Noted. for example, Noted. you know, how he treats you, the way he speaks to you, you know, things like that, how he makes you feel, you know. I, I If I am... If I with being involved with someone and treats me well and different things like that and we have everything under control finances security mm-hmm. traveling whatever whatever that that is of little of no importance to me well then i think it has a lot to do with the individual and what they're looking for in a relationship so i guess your perspective would matter because that is your core so i understand and i see the need for more of this conversation yeah i think we d- i think we're gonna have a part two to this we have some more more bones to pick oh my <laughs> so we're gonna end here hope um our point of views you know um gave you guys some some food for thought ashman it was indeed <laughs> wonderful you know this these were our thoughts as Kimberly say we should have another yeah you know, we're gonna have a, the and size and really matter part two why, you know so Thank you guys for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to leave your comments below. And tell us what topics you would like for us to discuss. Take care. Bye. Bye.